download the firmware of the Apple the 311 and point tool DMG open it and found the pointed tool okay now we must open pointed tool it is opening okay we must click here and also here and here click here okay he is searching the firmware okay yeah once he has found it we click here and also here now click here and go here okay we don't have problem we must change it what we want for megabytes okay nothing okay here yes download package here here okay no here nothing okay we you we can use only cdr or only ic but I prefer to use everything, also Cydia and also IC, and go on. Okay, now we can do this. If you prefer original logo, you must do this. If you prefer this logo or this logo, or if you want, you can put your logo, you can do this. But I don't want uh, to put my logo, okay? I prefer original logo, I go on. Okay, now we I must click here and here. I prefer iPod jailbreak. What I prefer? Yes, nothing. Now it's booting IPSV. It's very important for iPod Touch second generation and also first generation because uh, it is have found it. Okay, we can see some tools, for example, log if you prefer. If uh, it's very important to use, and um, stop. Okay, we can put it. Okay, now we can uh, look uh, for Apple Touch. It's very beautiful. And uh, into this, uh, we have some tools. For example, uh, some application, Safari, Calendar, Mail, Contact, YouTube, uh, Stocks, Maps, uh, Medio. And uh, now we have uh, to put the password of uh, my account. Okay. And go on. Okay, it is going. It's not a problem. And look here for understand what is uh, happening. And uh, don't worry, it's very simple. Okay. Uh, it's very beautiful and uh, uh, it's very important to use. Because uh, if you prefer this firmware, is very important. Now I must search the firmware for one second. Documents. Not here. Not here. Okay. I am searching. It is building it. Okay. It is searching. It is. Making the IPS we can read what is happening here. We can see everything. IPS patching, patching, and some other tools. Patching, 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 updating, updating switches, partition, uh, some other tools. What we want and making a file. Okay. You must see what do you want because it's a very important choose about Apple Touch of first generation. Final tool. You must have pointed to 3.1, not 3.0, because it's very important. If you don't have install iTunes 9, because iTunes 9, the latter, the latest firmware, you can take a firmware in your computer finder. Okay, go in library, iTunes, camera you have, or have opened it. You can go on iPhone software updates or Apple and look 
on this and uh, you can take a few more it's not a problem here is the file he is making the file on the desk here here is the file very important file uh, your iPod touch is pointed everything uh, if you are not sure no okay no okay I must put off uh, the dispositive okay excuse me point it to when I put uh, off it okay uh, now I must use a close iTunes uh, excuse me close iTunes and close iTunes it is closing now it's closed we can put off the iPod okay now it is off okay it is off okay now we can start Okay. Okay. Point it to. Okay, we are finished. Okay. Point it to is finished. Now we can close point it to and go in iTunes. Okay, first. first we can look at the firmware in the deck. We have saved it. iPod Dread Black iTunes. Alt click on restore. Desk iPod Jailbreak and open. Okay, now you can look at the restoring with the jailbreaking part. It's not difficult. And uh, here is uh, our Apple Touch. It is now it uh, is uh, breaking and it's very simple. Okay. Now it is restoring the iPod with the firmware of the jailbreak. Okay, here is iTunes and here is the iPod. Here is the purchase and you can look at it. It is opening. Okay. <laughs>